I'm Kevin and today I make my own tomato piano. So this thing is used just for fun and you can make a bit of music with this. Well, some kind of that. So to make this you will need one Arduino Mega one LCD display a tomatoes depending on the number of keys you want a plenty of jumper cables also with a bit of resistors and for the structure I'm using Lego and of course a speaker so for the LCD the top one is just to display fruit piano the bottom here, there's a plenty of numbers and is the <clears throat> value detected by each of these tomatoes. Um, and then this dough up, fa or something else is it displays the key which is pressed. So now let's test it out. And actually today is also my mom's birthday. Happy birthday mom. Thank you my son. So. Let's just have the happy birthday song for this. So, that's just the only happy birthday song that I can get. So, once again, happy birthday mom. Thank you. So, in here, these are the things that you will need. And the resistor here is I'm using the 2.2 mega ohm and this is the connection that you need to connect from the LCD backpack to the Arduino and this one also to the Arduino yeah. this is how it works so everything goes from digital bin digital to go to resistor go directly to the receive pin with a branch going to the tomato where we can touch it and here there's the circuit directly so all of them starts the same from digital pin 2 then it goes from here individually to these digital pins and about the keys it all start from C5 D5 and so on until C6 so now there's the program and in here this program is used to state the send pin here and also the receive pin for the whole thing then the value is the minimum value for it to make sound then there's the note key which is how long will the note play in here there's the LCD part and then and this this is used to calibrate the capacitive sensors then down to the main program this is the place where the where the Arduino reads the value so from the Low value, grave value, and so on. So, if the low value is bigger than the value, so I'll play the note C5. And so, for this, if the grave value is larger than the value, I'll play D5. And also, same for the whole thing until down here. And then, in here, there's the serial print. So, see, I mean, what? Going on to the serial monitor. So let's see. So now I'm here. We have the serial monitor, and I'm not pressing anything. So it goes from once to ten. But then, if I press it, it will go up until nine thousand. So. If it goes over 9,000, that means it makes the note. 
vertical. If it is in here, that means go up. This is the C, and then and so on until the end here, which is two. So just like that, and then to do this, you need to touch the floor because if not. The value won't be as high as you want to make the note play. So thank you for watching. Good luck playing music with this. And don't forget to subscribe.